Hey guys, so today I am going to be teaching you a neat little trick with VLC Media Player that allows you to subscribe to podcasts. Now, uh, for those of you that don't know, VLC Media Player is unsurprisingly a media player that is well known for being able to play just about any kind of audio or video file known to man. Uh, it's a very, very, very useful tool to have installed onto your desktop machine if you were to stumble across a particularly unusual file type. It's available for Windows, Mac and Linux, and it's also available on mobile platforms uh, like uh, Android, iOS, and I think they recently brought out a Windows phone version as well. That being said though, uh, you are unable to subscribe to podcasts onto the Android version, so I'm assuming that goes for the other mobile ports as well. So really this tutorial is just for the desktop variants of VLC Media Player. So I'd imagine most of you probably already have VLC Media Player installed onto your PC. So when it comes to subscribing to podcasts, it's nice to be able to go to a piece of software or it's nice to not have to install a specialized piece of software just to do one extra job when there is a piece of kit around that can do it just as well. So with VLC Media Player, it's easy enough to get up and running. Um, all you've got to do is, of course, open up VLC Media Player and you have to enable the playlist uh, sidebar. That's about as easy as you can imagine. You just click view and then click on playlist um, and then as you can see here you've got this nice little sidebar which covers a lot of things like you can also use it to browse your own uh, sort of mp3 library on your pc or whatever uh, but of course as you can see here this is the list of podcasts that I'm currently subscribed to. And uh, as you can see, I've got Fist, Shark Marketing, and Jimquisition here. Uh, two podcasts which are pretty damn good, actually. I recommend you guys check it out. Uh, Fist, Shark Marketing is a pretty lowbrow comedy podcast, but uh, sometimes when you just uh, just need a bit of a chuckle, it's it's really quite good for that. And the Jimquisition podcast is for gaming news and just sort of chatter about the, uh, the gaming industry. Both of those are in part um, presented by uh, Jim Sterling, and he's pretty... Pretty cool. So anyway, um, I am going to be just sort of demonstrating this by subscribing to Mike Rognetta's podcast, Reasonably Sound. So what you've got to do is whatever podcast you want to subscribe to, you have to go to the website directly and pick up the RSS feed. And these are usually pretty readily available um, on just about any podcast uh, on podcasting website. So uh, I've got here, um, uh, and I'm uh, browsing this using Chrome. And as you can see here, his RSS feed is uh, is pretty much at the top of the page. So all you've got to do is right-click and copy the link address. Uh, I think in Firefox, there's like a copy link or copy link as there's a very similar functionality. And that's just copied the, uh, the RSS feed to the clipboard. Then you just go over to uh, Podcast here, click the plus button, paste the, uh, paste the link there. As you can see, that's, that's uh, the correct, because it says reasonably sound. Click OK. And then it's just subscribed me to the podcast there. And there we go, we've just got a list of the reasonably sound podcasts and it's just as easy as clicking on them. I'm gonna check out the ear. I know I'm gonna click on that just to sh show you how it works. Um, and I'm, I'm gonna do that episode because I know that it doesn't open with licensed music. And uh, it just takes a little while to open up. And this is one of the first episodes of Reasonably Sound. And there you go. And you could just pretty much play through. And I kind of like that because it means that you don't have to visit every single website to see if they've updated their podcast. It's just a little bit quicker, a little bit easier. And um, it's also got that added bonus of the fact that I have VLC installed on uh, all of my operating systems anyway. So I don't have to install an extra specialized piece of podcasting software to subscribe or listen to them. So uh, I hope you guys found this useful. And um, that's about it for me today. Until next time, I've been Chris Ware and you've been awesome. Take care now.